Welcome Vora Riders, I'm Levin and today after one year I'm going to introduce you the, our new TFT display which started with MS Paint with four people in the conference room with a half naked man, I'm not gonna say any names, it's finally here. So come with me and I'll show you how, to, how it functions and how you're gonna be able to use it. First of all, you guys know the TFT display from the other scooters like the Wolf King and even the new Mantis King GT and the Wolf Warrior X GT. So we decided to create our new TFT display. It's our in-house new design TFT display. The first thing that you would see when you turn on the, the Roadrunner Pro is the intro and also with the outro, it's the same thing. You'll have the logo, Boro Motors logo on it and you'll be able to, you know, be like, oh, this is a Boro Motors scooter. Okay, compared to other displays such as EY3, you didn't see much of the parameters. You see a bar of for voltage and battery, you have your miles per hour. In order to get to the P settings, you have to hold two buttons. To me, it was kind of boring. I want some something a little bit more exciting. Here, it's it's everything is simplified and it, it's, it's just much easier and looks way cooler. The only TFT display that's out in the market is the Wolf King one, which is in a vertical portrait orientation. To me, the uh, portrait orientation kind of kept everything small and you know kind of crowded. So we decided to flip the TR TFT display uh, to go horizontal landscape, and you're not literally focused on just the speed, but you could still tell your battery voltage right away. You have the time, you have your standard mode select, your wattage for the rear and the front, and then you have your amps and your temperature. Just tap the mode button to switch interfaces and you will see your trip mile and your ODO. You have your time, your average miles per hour or average speed and max speed during that trip. The Wolf King, in order for you to know if you're in dual drive is the rocket and the display. They have the leaf and the rocket as well, but our rocket is red. So we're a little bit cooler. Uh, and you, you immediately know that you're in dual drive. In single drive, you will immediately know you're in single drive because as you're riding, you'll only have one color. Now, when you switch to dual drive, we were thinking of going really fast like Star Wars hyperdrive. And in dual drive, you'll have three colors. So when you're at zero, you're at white. And when you increase the speed, it'll go green, orange, and then when you're top speed, you're red. I haven't seen this kind of feature in any other PEVs that I've ridden. It makes me excited. Again, it's gonna look like Star Wars hyperdrive. And when you're going 50 miles an hour, you're like, you see that red rings right in front of your face. Oh yeah, I'm going really fast. The next one is the gears. So the gears or the modes has one, two, three, four, five. It was, you couldn't see what gear you were on. We had to change that and now it's red. So now you specifically know what gear you're on and you won't get lost and maybe you'll just full throttle out of nowhere and you'll just go forward not knowing that you're in gear five. On the old TFT displays, you have to hold down their mode button in the first 10 seconds of the initial startup in order to get to the advanced settings. And our TFT display is so simple that you don't need to even hold down anything or wait for a startup. You literally just double tap mode and you're at the advanced setting already and you have access to most of the electronic systems in this display. For the Roadrunner Pro, I actually had to adjust some settings because it was so powerful at gear five. You guys have that option from gear one to gear five to adjust how much power you have in the front or the rear. If you really wanted to, you could have gear one, two, three, four, and five at 100% and you don't need to worry about changing gears and you're just going. If you wanna go crazy in gear five, you could max everything. Maybe gear four, you turn it down a little bit. Gear one, if you wanna have a friend borrow your scooter, you don't want him to possibly crash it, you could really tame down gear one and but still have a little bit higher speed than what it defaults as. You have that adjustability to your liking and your preference. Now, you guys might be concerned with the ignition, you know, password and stuff. We do have passwords, so you can edit your passwords. Also, another Easter egg here, the font is also from Tesla. We, we like the simplicity of the Tesla font and we decided to use that font with the, our display. It's very exciting and now we have our own unique signature. When you see it out there, you say, oh look, that's a Boro Motors TFT display. I'm excited for this TFT display. TFT display is awesome to look at. Being one of the people that helped design the TFT display, I feel privileged 
and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you have any comments or concerns, please post it down below and we'll get back to you. Thanks for watching. Thank you.